When Miguel Contreras walks into a boxing ring, he enters as Caveman. A pretty prehistoric name, right? But this young pro boxer is focused on making some new history for himself in the city he represents. Here's this week's Power of Sports story as we look deeper into Caveman's prep before his upcoming fight. This fight right here is kind of like one of those entry doorways, you know, so God willing, everything goes right. Miguel Contreras, known better as Caveman, has loved the sport of boxing from a young age. And after the pandemic stalled his undefeated run as a pro for more than a year, his bond with boxing grew stronger. I always say, like, I enjoy my time off when I'm not training. But I remember when the pandemic first took off, it was like the first time I felt like, man, I miss boxing, you know. So now I just have a deeper appreciation for it. But now that wait for his next fight is over. As he's set to face another undefeated fighter in Starling Wilson Castillo out of the Dominican Republic. It was difficult to get a fight. You know, promoters were a lot tighter than usual because of the circumstances. But uh, we knew that the call would come and we stood ready. And, and just like this fight, we got the call and we were ready. It wasn't an easy road to 11 and 0. And as Miguel is set to face his newest opponent, it won't get any easier. <laughs> it's exactly that. A new opponent as he'll be facing a southpaw for the first time in his career. What's a southpaw, you ask? Well, for those not familiar with the term or who didn't see the 2015 movie under the same name, it's a reference to lefties, a stance that normally presents challenges for orthodox fighters like Miguel. But don't tell him that. We've been sparring nothing but southpaws and sparring world champions out there in Vegas, so I definitely feel like I've gotten a lot better since my last fight. Miguel spent this off time training in Sin City following his victorious MGM Grand debut last June. If you know anything about Vegas, that's the mecca of boxing. There's like a gym on every corner. While most head to Vegas for fun, for Miguel, it was all about the work. I say it all the time, the sport's not fun. You know, it's not fun getting hit. It's not fun watching what you eat. So when I'm training or when I'm getting ready for a fight, that's always in the back of my head, the reason I'm doing it. You can see the Bakersfield on the front of his shirt while he trains, but he's always carrying the city on his back. One of the biggest things for me is that, especially in my neighborhood, you know, the younger generation sees that, that it's possible to do something. You know, you don't got to succumb to the streets. You don't got to succumb to the neighborhood trials that everybody goes through, you know, as a kid that even I had to go through. I thank God that I took every opportunity to, to make it out, you know, and I'm, like I said, I'm still on my way, so um, I just hope that People will see that and, and see that, you know what, we could we could do it too. Whether he's fighting internationally or down in Los Angeles like this next bout, you know which city Caveman is repping. I say it loud and proud <laughs> from Bakersfield or shout out my city. As he continues making a name for himself in boxing, one punch at a time. I'm where I need to be, you know, and don't get me wrong, I've got a long way to go. However, I know I'm on the right track. And Miguel is set to fight Castillo sometime afternoon tomorrow at the Bank of California Stadium down in L.A. And for those who can't make it out there, you can watch the fight on the Golden Boy Facebook page. I know we'll both be watching, right? <laughs> right.